Jennifer and the Fan Friends and welcome back to this week's episode where we are going to be doing some bracing. In order to make those braces, we've cut little strips out of these old pieces of wood which used to be our previous floor and we're using them kind of as like a T-brace. So it supports from the ceiling down to the floor in three different areas here. Let's go up to the top of the trailer and I'll show you. Here at the top of our trailer, we have our spars that go along here and our beams that go here. And what we are doing with our braces below is we're pushing our ceiling here, pushing it up against this spar. And then I run a bead of thick, thick glue through here so that it can run underneath that spar and so the wood will attach to this. It's a lot of information just to say you're gluing the ceiling to the top beams. Anyway, so we've done that. And in order to make the glue not run through here on the opposite side, I went ahead and put a bead of silicone caulking just to kind of plug up that line along there. And then I went ahead and poured the glue. So what we're going to do now, as you can see, we have kind of a gap between here. So we're gonna add glue to here. And then we're gonna add our more braces down below to push this panel up against our beam here. So let's get to installing those extra supports. We added our extra row of bracing along here. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some tacking with our air nailer. Now we'll just tack those on the edges for right now. That's beautiful, Clark. Now we'll go ahead and we'll tack a few down our center pieces in our ceiling. And don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and use wood filler to fill in those little bitty staple holes. Won't be able to see it once we get it all nice and painted. All right, we're done with our tacking of our ceiling. What we're going to do now is, oh, our shop dog is here. Are, are we under OSHA compliant? Are we? Yeah? You wanna be on film? It's okay. Yeah, that's our shop dog. Can you say hi to the camera, Philip? Are you a good boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. That's a good boy. It's a good boy. All right. So many of you might have noticed we've been missing in action for a couple of weeks. Well, I have been busy working on the trailer, among working on other, but I didn't feel like you needed to see me sand all eight of our doors and repair a few of them that I kind of made a fur in the fan boo-boo on. Um, I wasn't going to tell you, but one of our viewers suggested, well, maybe you should go ahead and have that as a fur in the fan moment. Well, as I put one of our doors, all right, two of our doors in our wall or in our frame, I found out that it was just a little too short this way. And so instead of making a new door, I just did a little secret thing and added a little bit of wood to this side, a little bit of wood to this side, and it fits perfectly. I won't tell you what doors they are though. You'll have to look for those yourself. Hopefully after we paint it, you won't even know what doors are a little bit wider. Now that we have all of our doors sanded and sized and ready to go in the frames with our hinges and our latches, we're gonna go ahead and wipe them all down and we're gonna go ahead and put a nice primer color of paint on our doors and our frames and our shelves and our partitions and we're gonna paint up a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do this two different ways. The frames I'm gonna go ahead and spray and the bigger planks I'm gonna go ahead and use a roller on. Just as a little bit of a heads up, we finally have our door latches that I have chosen. And I picked out our hinges, but they're stuck somewhere out in shipment land. So hopefully in two more weeks, 
we'll have our hinges. You want to see the latches? I'll show you the latches. They're a little bit reminiscent of the 1920s and 30s. Um, even though our trainer is in the 1940s, I thought this would fit quite, quite well because being a trainer and it's going to get bounced around and stuff, we don't want the doors opening up. So I picked what we're going to call here as a cupboard turn latch. Oops, it actually goes like that. I think they'll be great once we put the hinges on here too. It'll have that nice little country cabiny camper feeling. Hey, let's go ahead and get on to our sanding and we'll do more of this stuff later after our doors are painted. Did I say sanding? No, no more sanding, no. We're gonna clean up our wood and we're gonna put our first coat of paint. This first coat of paint is not the actual color we're gonna use, it's just a primer base that I'm putting on all of our wood. And once we have that painted on, we're gonna do a light sanding and then we'll put the actual color on. Speaking of paint colors, I know we're gonna get to spraying in a minute. So thinking of paint colors, my assistant and I went to our local hardware store and we picked up paint samples. And the challenge is to be what color are we going to paint the inside of this trailer? As you know, our steel frame is kind of a light green apple mint color. And the inside here, I'm trying to decide between these colors. We have kind of whites, we have kind of yellows, we have green. As you remember in the beginning, our trailer was first colored kind of like this, but a little bit darker. And it was repainted more of a yellow color here. So we're still deciding on color. If you have a suggestion of what color you think the inside of this should be, go ahead and let me know. I think I have a few favorites in here that, that we're gonna work with. But stick around as we continue to move on our build and you'll get to see what color is chosen. Now, finally, let's get over to the paint. Wow, as you can see, I pulled all of our pieces out of the shop. We have been busy. We have our original rear kitchen cabinet from months ago. That's our bench. We have all of our doors, a shelf, we have our frames. Lots and lots of woodwork in this project. Let's go ahead and get to painting. We're going to start with the big surfaces and rolling. Okay, we've set up our table. We have some little sticks here to keep our pieces up off of the table. And now we're just going to wipe down each piece as we go to get all of the sand dust and stuff off. We, are, we have kind of a, a damp rag. It's not soaking wet, just damp. That way we can pick up any of the little sanding fuzzies and hopefully not have that in our paint. We will be doing a very light sanding after this initial primer sand so that we can have a nice clean surface when we put our actual color on. I think we're gonna go get our air sprayer to get all these little cracks. All right, we're back with just a little bit of air. Want to make sure this piece is nice and clean. This piece is ready for paint. Our first color of paint or primer. Now we're just painting the surfaces. We're not gonna paint the edges because the edges where it's gonna be glued, we don't want any paint there because paint doesn't stick to, to glue or glue doesn't stick to paint. So fur, how are you gonna paint the inside edge here? I'm gonna save that for the sprayer. Rollers are great for flat surfaces and sprayers are good for inner surfaces like that. As you could hear in the background, our 
air sprayer just turned off or our air compressor so we're ready to go with that as soon as we're ready to get our spray gun out there surface one Well, we have three more pieces. We're going to go ahead and paint up all of the rest of the flat surfaces on both sides. And then we'll show you how we're going to spray the other pieces. Um, so let's just keep rolling along. Well, here's a happy sight. This is our kitchenette cabinet that goes in the rear of the trailer. We're finally getting around to painting it. I'm excited. Okay, we finished rolling all of our flat work. Now we're going to go ahead and start on our panels. We're running out of sunlight here, so we're, so we're going to be able to do a few of them, but I'm going to have to probably finish some tomorrow or the next day. But just to show you what we're going to do, let's go ahead and, and start. First, what we're doing is we're just taking one of our door panels and we're going to blow off all the loose stuff. Making sure to get down in all the cracks and everything. There. Now we're going to take a rag which we've cleaned in our bucket with water. Now we're just going to give it a light wipe down. This will take care of any of that fine, fine dust that we have. Okay, one panel ready to be sprayed. All right, now we have two panels. Let's go ahead and paint them before our sun goes down. We thinned up our paint just a little bit using the water. And now we're just going to take it over to our table. Lay it down just like so. And we'll take our other panel, do the same thing. Pretty easy. All right, now. to change our spray head to our spray gun and we're going to put some of our thin paint into our gun hopper I don't mean that it's hopping I think that's what they call it all right all right let's put the lid on that now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to test this on another piece of wood before we spray our actual door cabinet so let me go find something to spray Here's a nice lovely box. Okay, so we add a little more pressure on our gauge in there on, from the compressor to our gun. And we have a nice, even light coat. So we'll go ahead and spray a few of our doors.
we'll go ahead and do our other six doors and our other door frames the same manner. But as for today, we're losing our battery on our camera and we're also losing our sunlight. I want to thank you all for dropping by and if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you uh, have an idea or a suggestion for a paint color choice of our interior, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, other than that, we'll see you on the next video.